All right, welcome back to another video here upon the old YouTube channel, and welcome back to the ranking songs off of classic album series. This is the program where I take a classic rock or metal album and rank all of these songs off of it. So, by the title, you already know what the album is. You can also see it on the back wall behind me. Kill Em All from Metallica. Easily one of the most important metal albums out there. One of the most influential and a personal favorite of mine when it comes to Metallica and fresh metal in general. So, had a lot of fun re-listening to this record and ranking all of these tunes off of it. So, with all the bullshit out of the way, let's get straight into it. So there are 10 songs total off of Kill Em All. Now, if I'm being honest, the bottom few songs for my ranking are songs I really don't care for just a whole lot. But the ones higher up on the ranking, like my top five or so, are songs that I really, really, really like and are some of my favorite Metallica songs. So keep that in mind as I go along. So a lot of diehard Cliff Burton fans will be get immediately pissed off of me putting this at the bottom. But Anesthesia Pulling Teeth is my least favorite tune off of Kill Em All. And this is pretty much a, uh, a Cliff Burton bass solo for four minutes. And you know, that could be cool and interesting, especially to see live in concert. But for me to listen to it on record, not really that interesting to me. You know, Cliff Burton's a great bass player. He sounds terrific on Anesthesia Pulling Teeth. But it's not really a track I'm just dying to ever really hear or listen to again. If I saw Metallica live back in the early 80s, this would have been really cool to see him do some bass solo live in person. But uh, for the appeal of listening to an album, just doesn't really appeal a whole lot to me. So that's why it is going to be at the bottom at my number 10. Besides Anesthesia Pulling Teeth, my number 9 is easily the most forgettable song off of this album for me personally, although a lot of people do dig it quite a bit. And that is going to be Phantom Lord. Phantom Lord is a song I can never remember anything about or how it goes after listening to it. But whenever I listen to it, like if I was to turn it on now, I'd be like, oh yeah, I remember that song now. But after listening to it, I never really remember much from it at all. So that's why it's going to be number nine. It's just a forgettable track for me that I'm not really dying to ever listen to because I don't really remember just a whole lot about it in the first place because it doesn't really speak to me in general if, even in the first place, you know. So Phantom Lord, that is going to come in as my number nine. So for my number eight, I chose the third song off of the album, Motor Breath. A lot of people do dig Motor Breath a lot. I do dig Motor Breath, but my thoughts on Phantom Lord kind of translate over to Motor Breath. Uh, not a whole lot memorable for me personally out of this song, and not just a whole lot that appeals to me. Especially compared to the next seven songs I'm going to be talking about where I really like all of those songs. And there's a lot of parts in them that really stand out. Not really a whole lot that stands out to me personally for Motor Breath or Phantom Lord. And they don't really speak to me the way they do to other people. So that's why they are towards the bottom. So Motor Breath, that is going to come in as my number eight. My number seven is going to be the last song off of the album, Metal Militia. A lot of people really dig Metal Militia quite a bit. I do as well, but I don't think it's as good as a lot of people say it is. Definitely nowhere near the best song off of this record, in my personal opinion. But, you know, it has a badass guitar riff, you know, cool guitar parts throughout. Just overall, a real fun, fresh metal song that I never really get tired of listening to and I always enjoy it when it comes on whether I seek it out on my own or when I'm listening to the Kill 'Em All album start to finish. So Metal Militia, another pretty rockin' tune that is going to come in at my number seven. So coming in at my number six is going to be No Remorse. My favorite thing about or my favorite section I should say for the song has always been the chorus, you know, no remorse, no regrets. I've always found them pretty catchy and pretty fun to sing along to. And, of course, you have some great riffing from James Hetfield and uh, Kirk Hammett. Like always, the band sounds great on here. Overall, just another really, really fun Metallica song that I will continue to enjoy listening to. So, No Remorse is going to be number six. These next five Metallica songs are all possibly in my top 20 favorite Metallica songs. I dig all of these songs really, really a uh, lot. And, you know, never get tired of listening to them and always seek them out. The bottom five songs, with the exception of the bottom three, I do seek the other two ones out a little bit. 
that as far as me seeking songs out on their own from this album, these next five are it. And number five for me is going to be Kurt Cobain's favorite song off of Kill em All, or reportedly said so, Whiplash. I dig Whiplash quite a bit. Has one of my favorite Metallica riffs, for sure. Everybody knows the riff from Whiplash. And of course, you have great lyrics from James Hetfield, good vocals. Overall, just a fun, fun, fresh metal song. Just like all of these uh, songs, this is a very fun, fresh metal album, and has always been one of my favorites. So Whiplash, that is going to come in as my number five. Coming in at my number four is going to be Hit The Lights. One of the first fresh metal songs a lot of people heard back in 1983. Uh, the only critique I would say about uh, Hit The Lights is I think you could cut out the first 30 seconds or so where they're just going on the notes. I think you could start it where it jumps into the uh, opening riff, which is one of easily the best uh, Metallica opening riffs I can think of. And of course, you have a great, great chorus. Hit the lights. Hit the lights. Very fun to chant along and sing to. And of course, you know, all of these songs have great riffing in there from the guitar pickers of the band. Overall, really wicked tune. And Hit the Lights is going to come in at my number four. So coming in at number three is, has always been one of my favorite songs off of the album. And that is going to be The Four Horsemen. You know, my top three are pretty, pretty neck and neck. So it was definitely tough to uh, choose what order I wanted to go in. But The Four Horsemen out of my top three, I probably listened to the least. But, you know, this has a great opening riff. Do, 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 I believe Dave Mustaine from Megadeth wrote that riff, but I could be mistaken. I can never keep track of what songs he contributed to in the early days. But if this was one of the ones he contributed to, definitely one of my favorites for sure. Really like the Four Horsemen quite a bit and always have and can't forget that awesome, awesome chorus. So the Four Horsemen is going to be at my number three. These next two are probably in my top 10 Metallica songs, not 100% sure. But Seek and Destroy for this video is going to be my number two. Has one of my favorite, one of my favorite Metallica riffs. Do, 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 We all know the iconic riff. And, you know, this is one of my favorite Metallica songs to play on guitar. Very, very fun stuff and very cool riffing. Search and seek and destroy. And, you know, fun chorus that you just want to sing along to. A lot of these fresh metal songs, especially Metallica tunes, even though they're not, you know, pop formulaic songs or anything like that, has some pretty cool choruses that are fun to sing along to, despite the fact that they're a fresh band. But funny how that works. So seek and destroy, that is going to be my number two. My favorite Metallica tune off of Kill Em All is for sure on my top 10 Metallica songs and has always been my favorite off of the album and that is going to be Jump In The Fire. I believe this is another song Dave Mustaine contributed to, but I could be wrong. If y'all know, let me know down in the comments below. But you know, this has one of my favorite Metallica riffs. Love playing along to this on guitar. That riff is such a badass riff. And then you go to the next one, do 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 and then Kirk Hammond comes in on the lead line. Awesome stuff right there. And I really like the uh, vocal melodies from James Hetfield. The lyrics are pretty good. And you know, Kirk Hammond's guitar solo is pretty wicked like always. So, you know, uh, Jump in the Fire has always been my favorite tune off of this record. Like I said, it is going to be my number one. So those are going to be all 10 songs off of Metallica's debut album, Kill Em All, ranked and reviewed, I guess. Technically a song review. But if y'all are a big fan of this album and Metallica in general, be sure to let me know down in the comments below your ranking of all of these songs and your thoughts on all of them. I'm sure many of you watching have different interpretations and rankings of all of these tunes, so I'd be very interested to hear all of y'all's different takes on this record. So... Hope y'all dug this video. If y'all did, please consider subscribing to the old YouTube channel and giving me a follower over yonder on the Instagram. I would definitely appreciate the support and got a lot more wicked shit coming up on both of them. So once you're done watching, blast kill them all like I'm going to do, then go out and kick some ass.